started, once we found out what song we had, the Filaments BPC, a very punky, rebellious kind of song, we decided to go with that theme for the rest of our video, using the stuff that we found on the internet, um, such as... Yeah, well, the first band to come up with was Blink-22, um, the song What's My Age Again, so uh, if you watch that video, it's pretty much them just running naked for a while, doing a little... But the, the video, it goes on for like the entire song, but we thought, because our song's quite fast-paced, we should uh, look at other stuff, so we, we looked at sort of homemade jackass uh, clips and decided to put quite a few pranks and uh, just stupid stuff going on in our video to fill up the time and uh, to space out the naked run we put in. It also fit very well with the whole rebellious sort of feel that come with the BBC. Another main influence was, of course, Devo, the internet phenomenon. Devo. The character who is a um, what's commonly believed to be a chav, just just being rebellious, and that's the kind of attitude that we embedded into our video as well, which we did very successfully. We did it. Yeah. Um, obviously, one of the heavy impacts of our video was the internet. Um, so we got many inspirations, like the whole prank thing and Devo and uh, Blink One Eight Two idea. So. Uh, Along with that, the blog as well. We kept uh, ourselves up to date with using the blog, which helped us a lot. Um, yeah, it was good to like we could we could update if every lesson what we were doing, kept track and all our things, and when we when we knew we need to make improvements or plan something else instead of having to remember, we could just write it down on there. Well, when we started, we knew we wanted to make it a funny, a funny kind of video that everyone would like. Uh, something different that you wouldn't have seen too often but it would stick in your mind and um, we did get quite a few laughs from our first video which was a good thing but the feedback we got was kind of negative towards how the pace changed a lot during the video it started off as a fast pace and um, some bits it slowed down or we left the clip rolling too long but we also got stuff that we kind of knew that we knew what it was, it was some stuff to do with like the lip syncing was off as well yeah. and things like this so, um, we cut out a lot of the lip syncing. We changed it a lot after the rough cut, and most of the feedback that we got, we um, we were generally on top of it already before before they even told us. So um, our ideas were still we were still thinking of fresh new stuff to put in our video after the rough cut. So we kind of knew that it sort of reinforced that what we needed to change would have a good impact on the video. So. Yeah, it helped. We looked at the last week as well, we knew that a lot of people liked all the random stuff we put in, so we thought the next time we go out filming, if we just put in a whole bunch of random stuff that you wouldn't normally play on, we got so much lucky shots that were just there when we were walking around, and it'll work really well with the video. Definitely, like the trolley that we just stumbled upon, that's one of um, everyone's favourite shots coming back from, from the feedback, as when um, I'm spinning around in the trolley. Um, if we hadn't have found that trolley on the street, then um, obviously that clip wouldn't exist. So, well, our main challenge was um, just finding the right amount of time to shoot it all in, because we know that we had to get a lot of uh, a lot of shots in a lot of different uh, locations, and considering a few hours a day across three days to do it, it was a struggle to get everything we needed in the right amount of time. We didn't think we'd get enough uh, footage to make it the same fast pace throughout the whole video that we managed to do that. The, the nature of our video, there was always going to be out in the open. Mm. There's always going to be people that can interfere, which we don't have control over, which can uh, And obviously, because we're in man thumbs, there was a risk of offending a few people yeah. or yeah. even indigenous exploration charges. But um, yeah. like I said earlier, we were pretty lucky with. Like like we on, yeah, yeah. We, we just stumbled across like the, the rundown warehouse we came across. We used in quite a few shots of our videos, which is the lucky find when we were looking for a blank wall. I also heard you can get arrested from jumping in the river, so that could have been a, a possible challenge. Yeah, the river was like one of our main problems because we got there, we were, we were unsure about how it was going to go. It was a freezing cold day, um, the river was about 
few inches deep. Uh, and there's rusty bikes. Rusty mm. bikes, oh. yeah. Like mud stains everywhere you looked. It was just a disgusting river. It was also the first time we'd actually got out in our in the in the thongs. So a nervous and excited feeling came over me at the time, where um, where yeah, it, it just that was the first time we did it. So and the little boy. Oh, just, there was this kind of obsessed with There was a strange little boy who uh, seemed like he enjoyed staring at their bottoms. We also developed this. Obviously, Scar can't really take the music seriously and they're quite serious about the whole rebellious sort of attitude, but we thought it'd be good to put a humorous side to it, which I think we did well with the prank. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't so much rebellious, it's just more like having fun at uh, our own expense, really. Like, we just, we just showed we didn't really care what people mm -hmm. thought about it, we just wanted to have a good time. And that fits well with the lyrics as well, just about um, just having, having a good time when we were uh, hanging out with our mates. Definitely challenge conventions when it comes to normal music videos, because most wouldn't sort of yeah. reach their audience by trying to just show that they don't really care and just having a laugh or them, so. There's no real story behind that video, it's just sort of show that we didn't care what people thought of us, to show that we might have a good time and that we had no shame in ourselves really.